What's up people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayur Pawar and you're watching The Be Your Dead Geek. Well guys, today we're gonna cover a topic called as Shutterstock Contributor App. Now, since the time a video about how to upload your images on PicFair has went a bit viral, people have been asking me this question quite often that how can I, you know, upload the images through Shutterstock Contributor application uh, through my phone and start selling it online. So I'm going to show you a quick tutorial today. But before that, if you have not watched the video about uh, PicFair, I'm going to link it somewhere in the corner so you can have a look at that. It's quite a detailed video, so uh, you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, apart from that, coming back to Shutterstock, it's basically a quick and easy way. This application is available on Android and iOS platforms and it's a free application. Uh, in order to sign into the application, you can just use the same uh, account that you have on Shutterstock Contributor and you can uh, like uh, start selling the images right away. It's, it's a quick and easy way, especially if you're out somewhere or traveling and if you just click, like clicked a monument or a simple image which you wish to, you know, just uh, upload on Shutterstock and start selling, you can do that. So let me just show you a quick uh, run through. How can you do that? How can you add tags? How can you add the details and start ma making money? Uh, without any delay, let's get started, guys. But uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, guys, please go ahead and do subscribe to my channel. I keep on making this kind of videos on a regular basis. If you're watching this video on Instagram, do make sure to check out the bio or the link in the bio and for the full video. And let's get started, guys. So here we are on the mobile screen. Uh, well, the first thing you would need to do is download the application called a Shutterstock Contributor. It's a free application and it's available on Android and iOS, both the platforms. I've already installed it, so I'm just going to click on open. Now, the moment you sign into your account, make sure you sign into the same or through the same account which you have signed up for the Shutterstock Contributor account as well. Uh, this is how the interface is going to look. These are a few images which I recently uploaded and uh, surprisingly none of them got approved uh, due to some grain issues and you know subject not in focus and stuff like that. Well, uh, besides that, you will be able to see the earnings tab. This is going to show you the lifetime earnings which you have. Uh, besides that, there is the upload tab. Now, upload tab has three sections, uh, basically upload, pending and reviewed. The images which you have just uploaded on the account but not submitted are going to get displayed over here. Uh, there's a pending tab, for example, if you have submitted that particular image and it's still awaiting the review, it's going to show here. Generally, Shutterstock takes a week's time to you know, uh, approve or disapprove your image and they give the reason why they have uh, disapproved the image. So you can rework on the image and you can upload the image again. And uh, this is the reviewed one. So generally the ones which are approved and non-approved are going to get displayed over here. Well, coming back to the upload one, uh, in order to upload an image, you just need to click on this add button here and uh, click on the gallery one. Choose the image which you want to go ahead and upload. Now, I generally use uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop Express application to edit my images because it's quick, it's easy and it's really uh, it's hassle free basically. So let's see, for example, if I want to upload this coconut image, you just click on that image over there. <clears throat> Once uh, the image is uploaded, you need to fill out the uh, details of the image. For example, the description, keywords, categories and stuff. Um, I have made a detailed video. There is a hack actually how you can if in case if you want to you know submit the images in bulk uh, There is a hack. There is a tool called as xpix which you can use to uh, Keyword the images which you have in bulk and that trust me It saves a lot of time in case if you have not watched that video I'm gonna share the link in the corners. So you can have a look at that uh, All right coming back to the image. Let's say for example uh, description brown and green raw coconut in the market now whenever you are actually adding the description or title make sure that you your describe the image as much as you can if there are some elements because these keywords are actually going to help your image to get found and discovered and ultimately lead to the sale 
the moment the user comes on Shutterstock and they look for these particular keywords, like for example, if someone types green raw coconut, this image is going to pop up. So make sure you uh, be as descriptive as possible while you're naming the images. Now, these are the keywords. Now, when you click on keywords, Shutterstock is going to uh, give you 30 suggested keywords, but uh, the limit which you have for adding the keywords per image is 50. I would say uh, you utilize all those 50 keywords because again, those, those particular keywords will help your uh, image get discovered and ultimately lead to the sale. As this is just a demonstration one, I'm just going to go ahead with this 30 keywords which uh, Shutterstock has suggested and I'm going to click on done. Now, after you add the keywords, there's a category. So you need to add at least two categories uh, while in order to get, you know, uh, your, in order for your picture to get discovered in that particular category. Now, since these are the raw uh, coconuts, I'm going to choose background and textures and let's say food and drink. Uh, below that, there is the additional information. For example, if you are selling an editorial image, uh, you can check this particular uh, uh, box over here. If it's an illustration that you made specifically, you can check that particular box because when these uh, images get reviewed, they get reviewed in the specific manner. So you need to do that way. And if it's a mature content, you can just click on that. Um, below that, there is a releases uh, uh, section. So for example, if you have any model which you, uh, you know, have shot in your image, you need to give out that particular model release form so that uh, it's always good uh, and it's like no one can actually it's it's a it's basically good to share the model release form because Shutterstock will not approve your image until unless there is a model release form attached to a picture in which there is a person or so. Otherwise, if you don't have a model release form, you can always go ahead and submit it as an editorial image. So that won't be an issue. And now we have already filled the details. So I'm just going to click on submit. <clears throat> And submission is successful. So now this particular image is being transferred to the pending tab and we'll be able to see like whether it gets approved or not within a week or so. Uh, well, that was my video about how can you use the Shutterstock contributor application. If you like this video, guys, please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel if you have not done that. I keep on making such kind of videos on a regular basis. Uh, and one more thing, if you if you are looking out to be a contributor on different uh, stock photography websites, there are links which I have shared in the video description below. You can go ahead and uh, check out those particular links. Um, and that would be all from my end, guys. I'll be back with another hack for you people the next time. Uh, thank you for watching the video and keep geeking.